This is your Catholic Daily Journal for Monday, January the 7th, 2019. It's an important day for the standardization of dates and times. Today is the birthday in 1502 of Pope Gregory the 13th. He took his name after Pope St. Gregory the Great, after whom Gregorian chant is named. Gregory the 13th wasn't expected to do anything very grandiose. He was elected in a stormy moment in history, riddled with scandals of kings and popes. And in the middle of that mess, Gregory was elected to be a quiet, holy, and unobjectionable pope. As is often the case, though, the quiet and holy are ready to be put to good use by the Lord, and Gregory became a great reformer. He made massive changes to the corrupt college of cardinals. He revised the body of church law, and in an effort to help make the church calendar more usable and more consistent, he commissioned a new civil calendar that reduced the length of the year by 11 minutes, or about 1.8 seconds per day. The correction seems small, but it was essential, and the Gregorian calendar is the standard civil calendar in our world today. Today is also the birthday of Sanford Fleming, a Scottish-Canadian engineer who created Universal Standard Time. He proposed that the world should be divided into 24 time zones, each offset from one another by one hour, and that the local time at the Royal Observatory in Greenwich should be established as the standard time by which all other clocks should be set and offset. The International Meridian Conference in October 1884 agreed not because the UK was the center of the world, but because two-thirds of the nautical maps set Greenwich as the prime meridian. And while there have been plenty of other innovations in timing and dating in the modern world, Pope Gregory and Sanford Fleming remain as two of the most important pioneers, and they share a birthday today. Also born today is St. Bernadette Subaru, the young girl who saw a beautiful woman in a grotto at Lourdes and was sent by her to tell the bishop that the Blessed Virgin Mary wanted to establish the small town as a place of prophecy and pilgrimage and healing. Bernadette had no education, and Mary knew that the bishop there was stubborn, and so she had the girl memorize a phrase phonetically. Bernadette went to the bishop and sounded out the short sentence that included the words, Immaculate Conception. The bishop was stunned and Lourdes became one of the largest pilgrimage sites in the modern world. Thousands of people visit the grotto daily to drink the water, to bathe in it, and to hold a candle in the nightly rosary procession, and to ask favors of the Lord and of the beautiful woman who shared her message through a simple child. Bernadette died young in 1879 at the age of 35. She was born today 175 years ago. On a lighter note, today is also the birthday of American actor Nick Cage, who was born into the Coppola filmmaking dynasty, but who chose to make movies under his own name. Cage is known for his over-the-top roles and his eccentric personality, and he is 55 today. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.